स्टार्टेड ना नो सो इट हैज इन यस इट नाउ स्टार्टेड द नाउ इट स्टार्टेड यस सो इट हैज थैंक यू सो इंस्ट्रक्शन सेट आर्किटेक्चर uh let's try to understand that serve as an interface between software and hardware so this is the part instructions architecture between software and your hardware so that is the first thing we have to understood second point is that also uh this is the task that means provide mechanism by which software tells the hardware what should be done so if this part is our software and hardware so see it is the you can see the middleman between the software and hardware so we can say the uh, middleman between these two now if we go more details on this part uh, in case of uh, what pen is getting some little bit disturbance you will find that number of users whatever tax will uh, you will perform uh, based on the tax uh, here you will find that all are executing through this uh, interfaces so a good interface what should be the good interface that it is used many different way generality provides convenient functionality so this is the one thing so during the designing of the interface uh, this point should be noted should be provides convenient functionality of higher levels a permanent and efficient implementation of lower levels so these two point actually i have to focus now you notice that in case of interface effect when windows first came to the market windows before uh, dos uh, before the other operating system windows gained the popularity only due to the effect of its convenience because any blind man also can operate the operating system without knowing any command so interface is a very important part to design any uh, particularly system now in case of computer organization architecture what is the actual interface we already mentioned that our interface is the instruction set then what are the number of instruction set you will design and number of uh, that means uh, operation will be performed by the system fully depends upon the uh, instruction set so now we will go first that what is the instruction set architecture very important point i am telling most of the question in the mid term exam may come from this chapter so one of the critical part the instruction set of a process processor is the set of instruction that can be used in a program that runs on the processor so this is a runs on the processor remember this point the instruction set of a processor that can be used in a program runs on the processor this is the first point instruction set types and instruction format are closely influenced by the architecture of the processor so that is a very important point and also sometimes in reverse also we can say that sometime during the design of the architecture of the processor we may think about the number of operation to be performed by the uh, computer itself so that's why when i am designing instruction set architecture now i have to check the processor capability but in reverse also when you try to design a processor for a particular application you have to think about the tasks the number of tasks that means in terms of programming concept is the number of instruction to be performed by the computer itself so if you can say isa and your processor design your processor architecture you can say has a close relation between each other so if one co processor support one type of isa it does not support the other type of isa because the processor is fully built on based on the isa or you can say the isa which is fully designed for the particular processor cannot be operated in other processor also so this is a very important thing now suppose let's what instructions architecture measured according to that means whenever you design an instructions architecture suppose you would like to create a new architecture new design you will uh, perform then you have to first consider the main memory space occupied by a program because in cpu program you know everything you have to come from the main memory we have already discussed so the main memory space occupied by the program that is the very important part instruction complexity that means uh, for a suppose i have to add two number you can do like in this a a comma b can be done 
otherwise you can do a a b c these are the way please mute if the sound noise is coming so add a b c and add a b so these are the two possible way other that means here will be you will do a plus b and it will be stored into a in this way it will be a and it will be a plus b plus c storing into a b plus c storing into a otherwise we can say suppose i am writing a day that time accumulator will be scc plus a like in this way so base same instruction you are adding two numbers only two numbers add hash six you can see so six will be added to a directly also the six will be loaded to the accumulator first and accumulator content will be added to the register and in this case is two register use in this case is three when i'll go for the format of the instruction i'll explain for time being the complexity of all <laughs> this because the number of register used here and number of uh, uh, that means uh, address particularly number of register in terms of for me as a computer organization or point of view it is nothing but address so the number of address used here not same so instruction complexity and instruction length both are very important for designing the architecture and total number of instruction in the instruction and that is fully depends upon the tax performed by the processors so generally a general purpose processor gpp we can say and application specific instruction processor and single instruction processor the instruction single instruction processor that me sip perform only one tax so only maybe one instruction is sufficient maybe addition a full adder type so it will only add so this is the single instruction application specific instruction that means it is performing all um, uh, suppose uh, all type of arithmetic calculation that means number of instruction will be add sub mal division students requested mute and then pick parthobomic mute mr parthobomic mute the sound otherwise i will throw uh, fire from this class so you will find that when you are going for application specific instruction that means uh, particularly uh, in a, in this cases uh, if i design application specific that time you will find that most of the term you will get this condition application specific instruction processors okay so our main criteria that we have to design this all this part okay so in case of acp you will find more than one multiplication uh, more than one instruction where we will found uh, we will find only one instruction in case of single in acp you will find more than single that means add sub mal these all all will get here and in sing gpp particularly it is more than this gpp has lot of instruction for general purpose uh, uh, processor whatever we have now so this is the one point for designing the circuit today we will study uh, that means how a instructions is executed the very important part for instruction execution so we will study this part also today now instructions set design issues in earlier cases i have discussed that um, these are the criteria that means measure main memory instruction complexity instruction length and total number of instruction in the instruction set second you will find that in designing the instruction set also we consider the instruction length in instruction length particularly this instruction length particularly you will find that we are designing number of operand number of address registers memory organization addressing mode these addressing mode are explicitly present in all type of operation when you are doing some register operation then it is present register operation okay suppose you are writing a a b so these are the two registers so i can say it is a register based address mode if you write a uh, add a 
coma has six. So it is an implicit mode. That means directly you are add, add, adding the value to the registers you, without storing into register. So it is stored the accumulator, it will be added. So it is the immediate mode. So size type of addressing modes are implicitly present based on the instruction. Next, you will get the instructions to include where, where are operands are stored in register, in memory, or stack, or accumulator. In immediate mode, the con one content by default present in the accumulator. If it is a push pop type instruction, it is present on the stack. When they are storing from the memory, indirect memory, suppose I am writing add R10, something I am giving. So the register content will be the 10 and then you will find the value to load some value to memory. So the memory address can be specified or sometimes directly you can use the register. So based where operands are stored, very important. So how many explicit operands? Operands may be zero in case of stack based organization, it is zero. So if you are using stack architecture, operand will be zero. If you are using accumulator, operand size may be one. If you are using memory, memory or register, two, three can be happen. Anyone happen, two or three in memory operation, it is happening. Okay. How the operand location specified? That's I telling that our register mode, immediate mode, indirect mode. In indirect mode, it will be on the memory. That means indirect mode, what happened there? It is, you will go particular in the memory and the memory contain the address of the data location, not directly the data. Suppose this is the X data I have to start. You first go to the memory. In the memory, you will find some address, maybe one one and one one location will get the data. So it is indirect. Sometimes you will get in the memory data is directly present. You are going to the memory, you find the data directly. So this is the direct mode. So sometimes direct mode, sometimes indirect mode, Something immediate mode that means directly you are writing add a comma hash symbol six. Especially I am to mention is a immediate mode. That means directly it will be added to the contents of the a. So this is the location specification style. Type, size, and operands are supported. That means byte, integer, float, double. You know in Linux operating system integer size and in Windows operating system integer size during the programming C calculation will depart. What operations are supported? This is the different type of operation because see number of operands always very important because in your instruction side, you will file two special area. One is the operation, we can also it's op code, another is the operand. Very important, just remember these two parts. Operand can be multiple, can be single, can be double, that basis in the addressing mode. But op code, Number of opcode always specify for the circuit how many possible instructions are possible. So lot of mathematics come from this point. Now ordering is a big Indian and little Indian already I have explained. So one example I have given. So this is the number hexadecimal number. Suppose I have to store. Now you find that 12 is the MSB in the big Indian front MSB stored on the list location and little Indian format the lowest mode part will come the lowest part. So lowest LSB goes to the low address memory here MSB goes to the memory. That means what is the data? They are presented like in this way. But here is reverse way it is printed. So this is a big Indian, little Indian. Both you can use simultaneously. Now any instruction actually how it is executed. Very important point. You remember for an entire life how a instructions are executed. I told that whenever CPU needs to be executed in your operation, maybe load, maybe halt, maybe stop, maybe add, maybe solve, any type of operation, any instruction, first of all, the first step it should be loaded to the MAR. What is this? MAR, that is memory address register. Is it clear? This is the content of the PC, it will become to the MAR. So this is our MAR. Because PC always points to the program counter. So you can say whenever any process, a process can have multiple instructions because process means programming execution. A program can have multiple or maybe single or maybe two, can have multiple instructions also. So whenever a process is loaded to the memory, that means for execution, Automatically, PC always contain the first address of the process. So that is to be loaded in this here. Whenever it is loaded to the MAR, 
automatically it will be incremented. Its incrementation depends on the again architecture or your program or your byte size you are considering. Maybe each instruction content two byte, so next instruction will be plus two. If it is constant three byte, so it will be next instruction will be plus two. Very important point to remember. Program counter always should be incremented by one is a by default, but it can vary. Is it clear at this point? It can vary also. So in the question paper, try to understand what is the byte format I have given. So accordingly, it will be incremented. But for your knowledge, you are remember that whenever the MAR is loaded, program automatically incremented. That's why I have given this is parallel. This is the number one tax, and this is also number one tax. Both are parallel. Now MAR contains the data. Now MAR will search. If it means as main memory or it can go for register also. Generally, it is stored in the main memory. Register used for CPU purpose. So it will go to the search to the main memory. In the main memory, what is the content? Suppose this is the content in the main memory. So this is the instruction actually we have to find out. So this means that this is the actually our instruction. We have to fetch this instruction for CPU. Now next step will be see the value is loaded here okay and next instruction may be this token see earlier what is the value here zero one one last bit is two okay uh, sir, so one doubt sir yes sir you said program counter it's it's incremented by one by default sir so like what does it depend on and we are getting loaded i am telling that it depends on the program suppose your instruction all instruction are two byte format so it will be increment up one instruction two by the next instruction will be after plus two. Here, okay. here I have considered each memory location is byte addressable. That means one byte. That means one byte instruction I have. So whenever I will fetch this instruction to the MAR, next instruction will be next location. That means here the value is how much? Three. So next location will be four. If you convert the yes, decimal below, it is coming three. So its next location should be loaded. It should be four. Am I correct or wrong? Correct, sir. Is it clear? Okay. Yes, sir. Now, Thank you, sir. Okay. Let's see. Now, let's see. I found that. See, whenever I have loaded here, the value is three. Now, what is the next location value? Four. It means that your instruction are executed one. So, it is a byte addressable. That's why plus one I have given. Okay. Now, it will find the location three. Now, it is found the location three is here. Is it clear? Is it visible? Location three? Okay, now in location three, he finds the address. Okay, not address, it's find the instruction. In location three, I mentioned that make a location three means this value. This value I have mentioned with decimal, but it is a binary format. No decimals is there in the computer science, it's a binary. So actually, three is, means that entire value is three. Am I correct this point? Any difficulty, you must raise your voice. This is the fundamental concept. For your entire life, you remember how a instruction computer executing. It is very fast today's modern architecture, but in earlier days when we are in our college, we know it was a little bit slower and we can understand yes, something is going loading, something is going loading like in this way. But for modern architecture, you may feel that within a click it is happening, but entire thing is happening within a single click. Okay. Now this will be searched automatically this location. Now this entire value will be loaded to the data bus. Is it clear? Because data was the MBR. Now it is the tax of the MBR. Any content, any content goes to CPU or comes to CPU through MBR. Am I correct? Remember this point. So you first go to the MBR part. Memory part, refresh term, this value will come. That means what is the value here? It is I think 4 to 6 is written because the value is 6. Okay. Now suppose the enter instruction is like in this way. It means that add has some code and this has some code and it is the combined code of op code and operand. Okay. Now you will find that this is loaded to the memory. Okay. Now after loading to the memory by MBR, that means it is content. It will come to the direct current instruction register. Now come to the point current instruction register. Let's go current now. When it will be loaded in the CIR, it will break opcode part and operand part. Now you see opcode part is this, it will be loaded to the IR. That means our instruction decoder will do the decoding phase. Up to this, remember up to this call load. 
or we can say it is called fetch. Up to this, it is the fetching phase. Now, decoding phase is started. So, instructional decoder. This part. Try one, one question, sir. Try one question, sir. Any questions? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, AB? op code. Uh, sir, op code zero one zero one basically yes. stands for add. For certain yes. case, uh, instruction format, uh, instruction architecture, this for add. Okay. Okay. Sir. It is the fix. You, Suppose you have a three instruction. So your code will be 00, 01, 10. Then it may be fetch or load. It may be add. It may be sub. Here, this value for certain code, that means here 4 bit of code. 4 bit of code means how many possible instructions will be there? 2 to the power 5, 4, that means 16. So some computer where 16 instructions are used, among them, this code for add. Is it clear? Maybe. 0, 0, 0, 1 for loading. Suppose. Is it clear, Prajita? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. This for of course. Sir. Uh, and sir, and sir, which one, which part is the load fetch part you said, uh, sir, till instruction decoder, right, till before instruction decoder. Not getting your point. Again, repeat it. Or you said a certain part is the load fetch part. Mm -hmm. Which part is it? So till before instruction decoder. Instruction decoder, that means opcode part. Only opcode will be decoded. Okay. So load fetch end, ends at uh, current instruction register only. The CIR only. Uh, uh, CIR will load the entire instruction. No, sir, After entire instruction. CIR will take the entire instruction. Remember this point. Okay. CIR will take the entire instruction. Okay, sir. Sir, uh, sir, one thing I had to ask. Um, so, memory buffer register is called the memory data register. They are equivalent, right, sir? Memory buffer also called memory data register, yes. Ah. But memory buffer it data or instruction, whatever coming from the memory will be loaded, but it can't process the instruction. So, what is the purpose? That I have to store it anyhow. I have to store. That's why I'm telling that instruction is actually this is the CIR I have written. From the CIR, it will start coding the opcode part. And now in this zone, actually this zone has a huge impact of control unit because this will go for the control unit. Because suppose for a single add instruction, it may have that you have to generate five or six micro instruction. What are the micro instruction? Maybe you have to enable this. Maybe you have to enable this. Maybe you have to enable this because all of this should come here. Then it will be visible. So set of micro instruction for a single add operation will be generated. Maybe M1, M2, M3. These three instructions require to perform a single add operation. That's why when I will teach you micro program control unit, that time you'll understand this add actually nothing but a lot of multiple instructions simultaneously activating some devices or something. That means someone is synchronized because when it is decoding, if it is comes here also, it cannot be operated because after decoding, a signal will come to the ALO to implement. That's why here on the single line, but actually it is not a single line. To mention the instruction decoder will go for the control unit, control unit generate the multiple sequence operation and that will come here. Are you getting my point? Yes, it's sir. Is clear to you or not? So kind of clear, sir. So uh -huh. Kind of clear or not clear? It is not clear, it means that. No, sir. OK, so let's again discuss this. But I am telling that suppose you are doing some adding operation. OK, since you are doing some adding operation and add operation directly, yeah, you are setting that you are getting here only. Uh, suppose uh, here you are getting, I am selecting the pen. Here you will get only one line. OK. I am telling actually this is not a single one line. Actually, this part will go to the control unit, our control unit. In the control unit design, you will find that for a particular single instruction, maybe one or more than one micro instruction, M1, M2, M3 will be activated. Clear? Maybe M1 will to activate this part. This line will come here. This line will be enabled. M2 enable this line, so this will be visible. And now M3 will be enable the LU, so LU will perform the tax and then it will be stored again. Am I getting my point? 
so now it can be performed when you are doing maybe decoding part if it is comes here it cannot be operated because it is not enable it is not enable so these two will be enable data will be available then third will be enable otherwise you will not get the uh, correct data so that's why some sequence operations required for enable disable in the path or unit and that will be done by the control unit and control unit understand because instruction decoder will help control unit to generate the signal so the signals from control unit will go to the cu so there is a role of the cu in fourth chapter you will understand for time being you just ignore okay now you will find okay, that sir. in the fetch operation these two are doing simultaneously just remember this point whenever any data is loaded to the memory automatically the pc contents is updated actually i have written two step but it is a single step remember this point then data is loaded to mbr from the memory cir sequentially it will take place after that now up to the decoding started continuity start now you will find that this data has arrived here and it is a more direct mode that means it is a immediate mode is called immediate mode immediate mode means directly 6 will be added so this is the value is 6 okay and now uh, this will be directly loaded to the our location so this will be loaded here i think the value i have written as 6 but is showing it as a 4 na so maybe it will be 4 okay so whatever data is there it will be directly loaded now you will find that if this value contain the value 6 and accumulator value how much 4 because add, add, sorry, add has six mean that SC equal to SC plus six. What is the six? Six is present here. Am I correct? This value six. And what is the content of SC? I suppose it is four. I suppose it is four because the last bit indicate because four bit is for opcode. 4 bit is of code and rest of the bit is for data and the data side total bit is coming 4. So actually you are adding 6 plus 4 and this 10 will be again stored to the location at the accumulator. You now see the 10 is loaded in the accumulator. Is this clear to you or you have some doubt? Sir, 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 4. So the 4 is basically uh, the value People of the location. Earlier present in the accumulator, I have assumed. Okay, okay. Okay, so otherwise you can load accumulator that instruction I have not followed here. Maybe accumulator was earlier loaded with the instruction. That means you write load four. That means four is loaded to the accumulator. Then you are writing this instruction you are fetching. That okay. is first instruction I have considered. Just I am showing this instruction execution. So that I presume. Clear? Based on that instruction format. Now this is a simple instruction I have shown. So in earlier days, when first computer was there, the, it is single accumulator was there. There is no pointer or something. Accumulator is used for purpose. The accumulator loaded and then directly added. Now, accumulator pass index register, they are pointing some location from the memory that is index register. And IBM 700 series uses this. After that, two different model is come. One is high level program based and the concept of memory IBM 360. These are the two model was implemented that means the number of register uh, number of uh, instruction used here automatically number of register used here because there is no register concept this completely accumulator based concept and it is only index register so they have tried finally nowadays this is the most versatile machine that means gpr general purpose register architecture so this is the most versatile machine using and it is a two type one is six and one is rig architecture. Very important to architecture. Intel, Pentium, all are following the rig architecture. Uh, six architecture because sorry, six architecture it means that complex instruction set computer and reduce instruction set computer. Load and store architecture. Clock cycle may be clock cycle may increase here, but it is very simple and mostly make also our make architecture or MIPS, they are particularly using this RIGS instruction. Particularly mobile, mobile computing capability divide increasing. So nowadays, mostly mobiles are using this computer because this is very fast and simple instruction. Complex instruction that in a single instruction, multiple tasks you can perform, but it is slower. 
but it has the capability is very high. So these are the evolution of the instruction set. Now using based on the instruction, the instruction set architecture, you can specify a computer the six or can be a risk. Now instruction format. Instruction format, I already told in instruction, these are the three field. Two field I am writing one is the off code and I is the upper end. Now in the upper end, implicitly, I am specifying the addressing. Remember this point. Implicitly, I am specifying the addressing modes. So details class addressing mode I will discuss. For time being, you remember that upper end and address, these are physically visible to us and mode field is in, uh, implicitly specified. That means upper end is a specified the operation to be performed. Address field designates memory address or processor registers. And mode field specify the way operand or the effective address is determined. That means if I write add a comma b, or if you write add add suppose a and breaks as you are writing 10, that means base address of the a will be added to the value, then you will get the actual address. That's I mentioned here. In case of if you are writing suppose x, x some memory location, not register. So what happens from the memory location, the value will be passed. Then you have to go to the memory. So there is the operation of the memory. But in this cases, all are register. All are registers. In this case, add x, that means x from memory it will be loaded, but it will be added to the what? Accumulator. So you will get that based on the different, different, uh, that means instruction format, you will find the mode also differ. Here the mode directly, the value to the accumulator, here memory and register, here two register. So I can say it also depends upon the internal organization of the CPU. In CPU internalization, I can say it is three type. What are three type? One is the single accumulator organization. That means contemporary computer may be classified. Any computer in three go. If it is only the instructions are using only the accumulator application, so you can say single accumulator based or the computer has the capability to use the general register you can say general register organization or it is stack so these are the three type of organization cpu follow during the execution of the instructions so you can say also it is a cpu organization now instruction format based on the number of address i can say it is a three address instruction format very complex mostly using CISC. that Add R1 AB. So R1 is the register, and these are the AB I am mentioning here from memory location. So this will be searched in the memory and then it will be loaded. First from A location, maybe some memory location is A, some location is B. So from A data X and this may be Y support. So first X will be loaded, then second will be loaded, and then X plus Y, this will go to the R. So how many addresses are there? A register address one this address one this is a three number address are there that's what it is called three address format in this case you will find one register and one uh, memory address so it is two address format so this program i have written into two address format practice the pseudo code how i am writing so like in this way it happened you can't increase the size if your machine does not support three address so all the instruction you have write in two address format only so that depends upon the CPU address format, but it is the another format to address instruction format. So instruction format can be four types, three address, two address, one address and zero address. And zero address always mentioned as a stack. Okay, stack based CPU organization only, you can operate these. And this is the limitation always use the accumulator based operation only. And these are limitation, they are used only register based or you can say memory. So I can't say a accumulator, only accumulator supported instruction, I can implement two address, never. Then if a computer supports only accumulator based organization, CPU organization, then always you have to write one address instructions only. So there's a very important thing for computer architecture. Same instruction, you can write three address format, same instruction, you can write two address that never increase the address size. That's why three, two, one, zero. I have mentioned. So 
instruction set may be risks or six, and any one of this can be follow this one. Generally, risks never support such type. I can't say never, but generally you can't do because it becomes it's complicated simultaneously. So that's why six can support any one of these, but mostly six support the register box organization very much. This is a complex type. Sir, 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 yes. what, uh, sir, could you just repeat what the uh, like whether whether it will be three address or two address? What does it depend on? Like, how do we determine which one we should be using? Hmm. Yes, that means which one you are using. I will show you example, then you will understand. Because a, a instruction, number of operation, how much operations required, what is the number of registers are there. Suppose in your computer, no registers are there. Okay. Uh, sorry, only uh, two registers are there. So simultaneously, you can two register only. So three register content here will be not fruitful. So you can use one register, one memory also. So I will say, Instruction set can be classified like in this way, four way. So I can say this is the one, this is the two, and these you are, are all belongs to the three category. Okay, memory to memory also operations are there, register memory now, register to register. This is the latest in three address format is using. In the memory also two address, three address are using. But see how it is using, all are memory, they are lowering this thing, but it is very slower because all are memory access. Now these three address see all are register very faster. That's why modern computer is so much faster. They are using register in comparing the earlier three address format in the memory, memory and register. Am I clear at this point? Suppose this is the mathematics. See in the instructions architecture in computer organization, though we are dealing the fundamental concept, but lot of theory concept will help you to solve a problem. Is this problem visible to all of you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. Now see in an 11, 11 bit computer instruction format. So they mention the instruction size. OK, in 11 bit computer instruction format, the size of the address field is 4 bit. Address field size is 4 bit. Remember, the computer uses op expanding opcode. That means opcode, no fixed format. Sometimes opcode can be 2 bit, can be 4 bit can be 5 bit because they are using expanding opcode techniques and has five two address instruction. See, the instructions are the details they are giving. Five two address instruction and 32 one address instruction. 32 one address. So just point that I have a 11 bit instruction format. What is the total size? 11 bit to try to solve with me. Your pen and paper is ready? Yes, sir. All of you ready with pen and paper? I am telling you this subject don't take very easy in this semester. This will be the best critical subject for you because see, in instructions architecture, I will give the problem to you. You have to solve based on the concept of the instruction. Now everything will be applicable here. The size of the address field is 4 bit. Okay. Then 4 bit means a, if I use 2 bit register, that time it will be 4 4. If I use 3 address format, it will be 3 4. But peculiarly, you notice if I use 3 4 4, is it possible? No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. 11 bit. 11 not bit. Possible. Possible. Not because possible. total is 11 bit. So I never implement here 3 address. So maximum, how much we can go for? Two address only? Two address. Am I two wrong? address format. Maximum I can go two address only. This part is clear or not clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Am I clear at this point? Tell me, is it clear or not clear? Yes, sir. So, yes, sir. Yes. so this field, I am specifying this field for my opcode. And this my address field. And I have decided that since the address field size is 4 bit, so here only 12 bit can be used is impractical. So I can use 8 bit maximum for address. Maximum, minimum is zero because stack based con stack address for meeting. That's why here they are mentioned one bit, uh, sorry, one address format. How many instructions are there? 32. 32. 
and two address format how many instruction there five. five five and i have to find how many the number of zero address instruction format now if it is a two address format maximum two address format that time what will the address size three three so am i correct or wrong only three yes sir so yes, how three sir yes yes am i not, not clear so how three will you be how three because four bit plus four bit because at each address four bit so if i go for the two address concept what is the two address uh, uh two address instruction that means two address i have to specify like in this way add a comma b i can do because it is four bit it is four bit so total bit is how much eight eleven, eleven. so what eleven. is the remaining bit acha three acha acha is it clear acha ha yes okay if it is one bit instruction format it is four then your of course size will be how much seven 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 bit if it is zero that means directly i will write push or pop the stack based operation that mean no address i'll specify the total instruction will be 11. number of instruction will 2 to the power 11 am i clear or wrong Uh, sir, uh, sir, I'm not very clear on this. Sir. Could you just repeat once more? I am repeating there. From, from the one address, from the one address part. Entire bit. If I am using entire bit as my instruction, entire bit, because in zero address format, no address are using. So in that case, eleven uh, bits are being used up. Yes. For the so in that case, opcode is using eleven bits only. Opcode, you are using. So in Achha. that case, opcode is I'm using eleven bits. Just one minute. Did you write the question? You write the question. I'll go white yes, board. Otherwise, you'll not understand. Yes, sir. Did you write the question? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's written, sir. Uh, help me yes, during sir. the discussion. You have written. Yes, sir. Okay. Then I am going to the white board. I think it will be very clear to you. Just one minute. Is whiteboard visible? Yes, sir. Uh, no, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Visible, sir. Yes, sir. Whiteboard visible? Uh, no, sir. It's not for me, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now visible. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. It is visible. Whiteboard is visible. Okay. So now, yes, sir. See, not visible whiteboard. Visible, sir. I am asking, whiteboard is visible to you or not? Yes, visible, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Visible. Visible. Yes, sir. Visible. So in whiteboard, just one minute. I think some there are some issues coming. Shankita Mangal, is whiteboard visible? Sir, it's loading. Still loading. Yes, sir. Sir, it's visible. Now visible. It's visible. Okay. It's visible. Visible, sir. Okay. 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 I'm getting some problem in my uh, work home. I think uh, it is visible to you, but it is not coming to my mobile uh, here. Then it is better. I am going uh, that slide. Is slide is visible now again? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. In the slide, yes, sir. Don't worry. I later check later. Now this is my eleven bit. First of all, try to understand the mathematics. Very critical because most of the competitive exam and gate such type of mathematics are coming, and you know. uh question my question this time i will take the entire responsibility of the subject so my question will be not like in this way and most of the time you find the question over is like i thought of most same 
I am directly follow them also. Kanpur, Kharagpur, Madras, all the questions I have. So I am uh, doing some shuffling and give you. So since I am teaching you, try to understand. If you are difficult, you raise your voice. Don't tell me the question about it will be tough because this is the standard you have to follow. Now, if I follow zero address instruction, what? Zero address means that entire instruction format you are using as a my instruction. The total number of instruction only how much? Can I say? Is this point clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because because opcode will use this one. What is opcode? Maybe it is push. Entire element BTOs because zero address, no address. But in my ISS structure, I have found some zero address, some one address, and some two address. And here, more than two address not possible because of the size four bit. Because my instruction total length is 12, 11. So, 4 plus 4 only possible, plus 4 is not possible. This is part is clear that you have to define. So I know if I use the entire bit, that is the total 2 to the power 11, but among them, some is used as my one address and two address format. Am I correct or wrong? Yes. This is the total number of total number of instruction used for my zero address format probably can be used but i am not using enter as a zero because i am using 32 and 5 that means 37 37 instruction as my what 37 instruction as my two address format. other instruction format two and one is it clear so yes. I can say total number of two address instruction format in these cases. Two to the power 11 means how much? Two zero? Two zero four eight. Two zero four eight, sir. Four eight. Four eight. Four eight. Two zero four eight. What means? One zero two four into two. Hey, this is the meaning. Two to the power 10 is one zero two four and two. So two zero four eight. That is the total number of instruction can be possible. Among them, you have to deduct. What are the deduct? How many? 37. Five, two address instruction. That means five, two address, that means four part floor eight. That means total eight instruction is possible for five address. Yes, sir. Eight instruction possible or not? Yes, sir. Eight instruction possible, but actually they are using how much? Five. Among eight, they are using actually five. Am I clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Two to the power three, sir. Because uh, two addresses, there are the remaining three. So two to the power three. No, no. This is two to the power four, two to the power four. No. Five two address instruction for me. So opcat number of opcat will be here will be two to the power three. Actually, I know. But actually, two to the power three means total eight instruction. I am not using eight entirely. I am using how many only? Five. Among I can use eight to address instruction actually capability, but I am not using eight. I am using how many? Only five. Is this plot clear or not clear? Sir, so how are you doing this optimization? Which one? Uh, this uh, we, Sir, this one, maximum one, to the shifting like we can use to the power, like to the power three that is equal to eight, but from there we are taking only five. Uh, because is it that I think that, that processor I am designing by the computer design, so particular computer design, it records this number of instruction that I am not fully utilizing actually the power of the computer, you can say. But actually I am using 5. It okay, doesn't mean that 8, I have to use 8 because my does not require this, but you can use at most 8. And 32 one address instruction means 32 one address to the 4. Am I correct or wrong? Yes, sir. Then tell me what is the value? So, so it's 5 into 2 to the power 4. Is it 5 into 5 2 to the power 4 or 2 to the power 8? 4. That means 2 to the power 8. Uh, am I correct or wrong? Yes, sir. Sir, I did not get this part, sir. Uh, so why are you Number of total instruction is a 5. But total capability will be how much? This is the address plus yeah. 
total number, you will get the number of total instruction size required for this one. Are you getting my point? Oh my God. Just one minute. This is a really difficult, painful for us. Is it visible now? Yes, Am I sir. visible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. I am again repeating sure. it. Just one minute. See, in this case, a total number of instruction. If I use if I use the entire instruction, if I use this entire instruction, uh, just one minute. Sorry for the interruption. I think the recording was there, no? No problem. Now visible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, suddenly the connections problem issues there. Again, I'm repeating that. If I consider this is total number of bits are 11 address, 11 bit. So if I take 11 bit, total number of instruction bit to the bar, 11, maximum possible because here no address field. Am I clear? Sir, are you not sharing your screen? Yes, sir, it's not visible, sir. You did not share your screen, sir. I have already shared. Sir, it was visible. Yeah, I can see it. I can see it. Is it visible now? Yes, sir, it's visible. Sir, it was visible then. Yes, sir, it's visible. Now also it's visible. See. It is visible, then visible, otherwise not visible. Someone seeing, someone not seeing, maybe your end problem also. Okay. Now it is clear. No, sir, it's not visible. So it's not visible, sir. Yes, sir. It's all. not visible. Sir, it's visible. It is visible. visible. People who cannot see, please visible. check your own connection because I can see. Yeah. It. Yes, if sir, I can see, right. that means there's no problem from Thursday. Sir, its option is A, 512. Answer, sir. Very good. I will come to the point. Let's see. Now it is clear. Uh, just one minute. I am telling that, first of all, the point is that uh, here, initially you have to calculate total number of bits for here. And I am telling that, it is 11 bit. Am I correct? So, 2 to the power 11 into actually 2 to the power 0. This is the total possible 0 address. Clear? Maximum, not 0 address. Maximum, I can take this one. Am I clear this point? Prajota? Yes, sir. Now it's clear, sir. Is it clear? Though I am not writing 2 to the power 0. So this is the total number of instruction. Make sure I can take minus. What the value? I have how many? 
five two address instruction. Am I clear? Minus thirty two one address instruction. Two divided four. Am I clear? Yes, sir. Then you will get yes, total number of possible instruction for zero address. Because this for maximum you have to do already or you have occupied this was memory. Since eleven bit computer instruction format that means it can address up to two to the power eleven memory. That means this is the memory suppose, and it can go two to the power eleven up to among them already five or zero address for instruction format you have to require so some memory you have to occupy. Am I correct or wrong this? So it is coming how much? Five and two. Five hundred twelve. Five. 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 Five
so in that case the address size where uh, I'll come, uh, I'll like the total okay. address size i am coming i am coming now next instruction assume that immediate operand is an unsigned integer remember unsigned integer not plus minus just a positive number it can be zero to to that number unsigned okay the maximum ball of the immediate operand i have to find out okay now come to the point which have it has need support 45 instruction that is clear which have an immediate and in addition two register then how many register how many register how many register so two, two, two register i can use two. and last one for what purpose immediate value direct six or direct seven i will store or direct nine ten any value will give that means what is the register bit use here tell me sir why two registers because they have mentioned you check they have mentioned in we have immediate operand in addition to a register operand two register operand only used they have mentioned among this 45 to support condition is given which have immediate that, that means they are using how much three address format among the three address format last last be uh, memory location specified for the immediate value and two for register they mentioned i have nothing done myself is it clear this point two address is clear yes sir. Yes, okay. yes sir now what are the two address tell me how many bits are there two address for each of them six for plus six twelve huh twelve six plus six twelve six six why six Register need six bits. Four six. Why six? Sir, six to sixty four register. Yeah. Two power six, sixty four register. Aditya Gupta, you are telling now. Okay, very good. Shankita. Shankita. Yes, sir. Two to the. Why six? Yes, sir. Two to the five will make. Yes, sir. Two to the five will make. Or not? Yes, sir. Very good. Very soon I will take one exam. Don't worry. Mathematics will be shown immediately. Have to answer any one. So Diwali bonus will be there. Don't worry. So six plus six plus six. How many bits? How 18. many? Eighteen, sir. Eighteen. Eighteen, sir. Eighteen bits already left. What is the total size? Thirty-two. 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 Thirty-
yes okay. sir yes sir so any questions any doubts you just respond me so that i can clear it otherwise uh, just log in uh, in the class and you attend it it will be difficult for you so that's why the architecture is like in this way if only stack based draw the figures i will show the more details in the next class because your time is already up so this is the alu where this is the stack so i can say this is a stack based professor where alu why i am writing alu you know cpu is nothing but alu plus cu am i correct or wrong cpu is nothing but alu plus cu hmm. is it clear if i consider the cpu part you know cpu always alu plus cu this part is clear or not clear yes sir okay so that's why here i am writing alu means you don't consider that i am not mentioning cpu part actually so it is a cpu so in the cpu if cpu for its contents always exceeding the stack it is a stack based generally this type of instructions are followed push pop for any instruction i mean data structure you have already studied using postfix notation how you can compute any instruction like ab plus okay abc plus star it means what a will be pushed b will be pushed like in this way b will be pushed then whenever you will get c will be pushed then whenever you will get the plus then b and c will be pop then it will be again added c plus uh b then again it will be pushed then it will be b plus c result then again when you will get the upper end then both of will comes out then you will get a plus b plus c like in this way am i clear or wrong in the data structure post fix notation you have studied or not such type of notation yes sir yes sir ha yes, yes, studied na yes, it means aap log jante hai study kiya hua nahi is is like in this or not this i can write like in this way now see why this is required because some computer which follow this architecture it needs post fix notation value so automatically compiler will convert into post fix notation so that it can be processed by stack base if it is a accumulator and memory that means one value will come from memory and one value will come accumulator which i have shown in your previous example of the organization clear so it is the accumulator and memory based and this is completely gpr very important and modern computer follow this one that means one memory one register maybe register maybe register anything can be happen so it is very flexible and more of uh, that means the capability of the program is high that's why example i have given push a if you write suppose i have to do perform a plus b on instruction this can be written like in this initially a b then add operation then automatically it will do the final and final value pop c will come like in this way using step this is the a this is b whenever they will get the add operation this two will be added again it will be stored in the c and finally c will be popped out in the accumulator based load accumulator so a will be loaded in the accumulator then add b b will come from the memory so this is the b it comes from the memory then a and b will be added and then it will be loaded to the c c can be accumulated to memory or c can be accumulated to register whatever may be in the register based a one data register memory to register so it will be loaded from the memory to directly one value in the register r1 and r2 then you form form the calculation add r1 with b so b is coming here a is coming through register when both are register that means a and b first will be stored in register so it will be stored in two register a and b and finally it will be stored in another register and from register it will go for the memory location c is it clear these things so based on the instruction you have to perform the instruction type in the next class we will study if these are the instruction format i use i mean i am using and each of them require is a clock speed according to the clock speed you have to compute how much time clock cycle required to compute a task okay so up to this uh, today uh, i am uh, completing this part any doubts you would like to ask what is the total strength of your class 
Abhishek, Basu, and now I am regularly getting 143. So I am taking attendance at the last and the middle of the class action also, and then I'll compare these two. So I think uh, I don't know what happened. The stu all the students are not attending the classes. Is they aware of the classes or they quite know all this fact? They know the classes started. Everybody is. Yes, sir. Everybody is uh, added to the like in our class group and section groups also. And uh, we have sent the required information. And okay. uh, yeah, so everybody knows. Is their task. 